good morning one and all now we are going to sir clinical uh, neurology uh, first one is a neurological observation chart the neurological observation chart produced by chennet and destal incorporate the most relevant clinical features that is coma scale eye opening verbal motor response pupil size and reaction to light limb responses and vital signs the frequency of our observation normally to only depends on the individual patient's needs this observation class co observation chart enables immediate evaluation in the trend in the patient's clinical state next we are going to sir examination of the unconscious patient first we are going to history questioning relatives friends uh, uh, so other persons then general examinations then we are going to do neurological examination first one is for conscious level um uh, the assess conscious level assessment is of major importance it is not only serves as an immediate prognostic aid but also provides a baseline with which future examination may be compared assess conscious level as described in terms of eye opening verbal response and motor response for research purposes a score was applied for each response with the flexion subdivided into normal spastic flexion giving a total glasgow coma score of 15 points although of value in research this has led to some confusion since most coma observation charts use a 14 point scale with 5 points on the uh, motor uh, score normally glasgow coma scale is for 15 points for eye opening if eye opening is spontaneous 4 points to speech if eye opening happening happens due to spontaneously it is 4 point to speech eye opening happens it is 3 to pain if eye opening happens it is 2 even an an none of the eye opening is happen it is cause of muscular one point like is verbal response if the patient is oriented five mark if the patient is confused four point uh, for words if he verbally responds 3 point for sounds if he verbally responds 2 point if the response is none it is glasgow muscle point 1 score 1 up for motor response if the patient in unconscious level is obeying commands 6 point glasgow muscle 6 point localizing for if you are localizing if he patient response motor response it is 5 point if the patient does and if we are doing normal flexion if his motor response is normal flexion it is 4 point if his uh, motor response is spastic flexion it is 3 point if his um, motor response is in extension it is 2 point even in unconscious stage motor responses happens for obeying commands is 6 points localizing if you are localizing motor response arises it is 5 point if normal flexion happens it is 4 point spastic flexion happens 3 points extension happens it is 2 points none of the motor responses arises exists at present it is non classical muscular point one for clinical purposes the 14 point scale provides more consistent recording it is also important to avoid the tendency to simply quote the patient's total score this can be misleading always describe the conscious level in terms of actual responses that is no eye opening no verbal response and no extending it is the layman term pupil response fundi corneal reflex tone limb reflexes plantar response this kind of lack of patient cooperation does not prevent objective assessment of these features described before but elucidation of other relevant neurological signs requires a different approach we are uh, sharing examination of unconscious patient first through first we have said about conscious level examination by using plasma scale 
which is invented by Jennet and Destel uh, Neurological Observation Chart, Institute of Neurological Sciences, Glasgow Observation Chart. It is for conscious uh, level, neurological examination for conscious level. For that, we have said Glasgow Gamma Scale, total score 15 points for spontaneous eye opening 4, for eye opening for speech 3, eye opening for pain 2, none of eye opening happens 1. Or verbal response, if it is oriented, it is 5 point. Verbal response, if it is confused, 4. Verbal response, for words is 3 point verbal response for sounds is 2 if verbal response none it is uh, Glasgow comma score 1 likewise motor response if the obeying commands if the, if the unconscious person is obeys the commands uh, and will render motor response Glasgow comma score is 6 for if the motor response happens for localizing class comma point five if the motor response is uh, occurs as a normal flexion it is four point if spastic flexion that kind of motor response occurs it is called three point if extension movements happens that kind of motor response we give two points if for if, if an unconscious person uh, does not render any motor response that time we give none class go muscle total point totally we calculate eye opening how much points are class go muscle points for verbal response how much of points motor responses how much of points uh, for understanding if the unconscious percent is no and if, if the eye opening is no response it is the class go muscle Point one. Uh, if the verbal response is none, one point. If the motor response is none, uh, that is one point. So totally, even though he is not having eye opening response or verbal response or motor response in during the unconscious level, present unconscious level, it is comes under uh, three point of Glasgow comma scale. Uh, for example, maximum I tell you, if the if the unconscious person we are uh, clinically assessing his neuro system if the eye opening is happen happens spontaneously four point if verbal response is orientation fully that is five if motor response is fully obeying for commands uh, six so totally for eye opening spontaneous four or verbal response for orientation five nine uh, motor response for obeying command 6 so totally 15 of class comma scale is maximum level if the unconscious patient is, uh, is if the unconscious uh, if the patient is unconscious whether conscious or not and the maximum level is if the eye opening is spontaneously happening and if the verbal response is oriented if the if motor response is obeying for commands for eye opening we spontaneous eye opening we give four point for verbal response of orientation if we give five marks and for motor response obeying commands we give six totally classical gamma scale for if the unconscious person is being conscious it is totally um, four for uh, spontaneous eye opening five for oriented verbal response six for obeying commands in motor response totally 4 plus 5 plus 6 is equal to 9 plus 6 15 class comma scale likewise examination of uh, unconscious patient includes eye movements observe any spontaneous eye movements uh, elicit the oculocephalic doll's eye reflex rotation or flexion or extension of the head in the Comatose patient produces a transient eye movements in a direction opposite to that movement. Uh, and second request, doll's eye reflex rotation or flexion or extension of the head in comatose patient produce transient eye movements in a direction opposite to that of the movement. 
if I am rotating this side and my goes to opposite side, this is uh, dull side reflex positive. Elicit the ocular vestibular uh, reflex caloric testing also. Visible fields uh, in the we are examining unconscious patients. In the uncooperative un patient, the examiner may detect the hemianophic field defect when menacing from one side fails to produce a blink. Uh, to find out the visible fields, ocular vestibular uh, reflex helps. Uh, in the uncooperative patient, the examiner may detect a hemianophic field defect when menacing from one side fails to produce a blink. Facial weakness, uh, failure to cremace on one side in response to bilateral supraorbital pain indicates facial weakness. Likewise for limb weakness during unconscious person, detect by comparing the response in the limbs to painful stimuli. If pain produces an asymmetric response, the limb weakness is present. If the patient localizes with one arm, hold this down and retest to ensure that a similar response cannot be elicited from other limb. Limb for, to, uh, for an examination of unconscious patient, uh, limb weaknesses detect by comparing the response in the limbs to painful stimuli. If pain produces an asymmetric response, the limb weakness is present. If the patient localizes with one arm, hold this down and reset to ensure that a similar response can be listed from the other limb. Supraorbital pain, localizing left, flexing right or flexing left, extending to right. Both patients are in coma. Both have an asymmetric response to pain indicating a right arm weakness or focal frame damage. Pain stimulus applied to toenails or Achilles tendon similarly tests power in the lower limbs. Variation in tone reflexes or plantar responses between each side also indicates a focal deficit. In practice, if the examiner fails to detect a difference in response to painful stimuli, these additional features seldom provide convincing evidence. So, exam neurological examination of unconscious patient is likewise uh, happening. Likewise, uh, we are going to uh, say clinical uh, neurology um, for the clinical exam neurological examination of the unconscious uh, patient um, through Glasgow Gamma School and others in next sessions. Thank you.